Hi there, so today what we're going to have a wee look at is we're going to have a look at some multiple choice um, for some equilibrium. Um, so we'll just start the start, I'll go, kind of go through a kind of selection, just show you how I would work out these answers to the questions, and then I'll let you guys do the rest. And then tomorrow we'll do some of the section two, which is like the kind of more extended answer past paper questions. So we'll have a look at this first one here. Um, it's telling you that a catalyst is using the, ha the Haber process. Um, which of the following best describes the action of the catalyst? Well, without even looking at the answers, we know that a catalyst does not change the position of the equilibrium and actually increases the rate of both the forward and the reverse reactions. So that has to be C for that one. Okay, whoops. Now let's try some other ones. Uh, oh, this is a good one. In which of the following systems will the, the equilibrium be unaffected by a change in pressure? So if it's going to be unaffected by the change in pressure, then that means that you need one where you've got equal moles of gas on each side of the equation. So it can't be A because it's like two moles of gas um, on one side and one mole on the other. So obviously if you increase the temp the pressure then it's going to go to the side with the least moles of gas that's not going to work and um, if you go for c then you've got four and two so that's not going to work d you've got three and two so it has to be b where you've got two moles of gas on each side um, and that's how you would do that let's try another one oh this is this looks like a good one so it says the following equilibrium exists in bromine water, and this is number four. Um, the red colour of bromine water would fade on adding a few drops of a concentrated solution of... Okay, so we need something that's going to be producing less of this bromine, okay? Because that's what's giving it, is this red colour. So what we need to do is we need something that's going to take that away, produce less of it. And what we're going to find is we need something to be removed from the other side. If we add HCl, what's going to happen is we're going to be adding more H+. Plus. So that would actually move it towards the left. So that is not what we want. If we add potassium bromide, then that's going to have Br- minus ions in it. Then that's actually going to be doing the same thing. That's going to be producing more of a red colour. So they cannot be the answer. If I add in sodium a bromate or OBR, then that's going to have that OBR minus in it. Again, if I add more of that, then that is going to um, that is going to basically make it go towards the left again, because if you add more of it, then it's going to want to get rid of that, so it's going to go towards the reactants. So the correct answer has to be C. And what you'll find is that silver bromide is actually would form a precipitate. So if I put um, AgBr in there, and Br minus, that forms a precipitate. And that would have less of that in it. So the, the, the equilibriums want to go to move to the right to make up for that lost bromide ions. Okay, let's see if we can try another one. Let's try a temperature one. Drink. Let's try this one. So number 17. The following reaction takes place in a blast furnace where you've got carbon dioxide and carbon and this produces carbon monoxide. Which conditions of pressure and temperature would favour the production of carbon monoxide? Well, carbon monoxide, this forward reaction, is endothermic. That means that uh, you need an increase in temperature. Favouring the endothermic side. We also want something that's going to go to the side. This has, the carbon monoxide has more moles, that's got two moles of gas. 
Whereas this side, carbon is solid, so that doesn't count. You've only got one mole of gas on this side. So if I increase the temperature, then it would go towards the side of the carbon dioxide. So I'm going to want to go for a low pressure and a high temperature. That answer would, of course, be C. Hopefully that makes sense in how to answer some of these. What I would do is I would maybe just practice going through all these, making sure you can answer them, and then ask your teacher if you need a hand. Tomorrow we're going to go over the kind of written questions for these. I hope that was helpful.